morning, good morning, back. I'm back outside again this morning. A little bit chilly, but you know, I mean, I have to have my coat, you know, I mean, I can't manage a cold. Um, basically, I want to do you a lovely, simple breakfast outside in the back garden this morning. It's gonna be a simple one. It's gonna be, I'm gonna be making something where I did before, you know, what I mean, and I decided to share about the recipe with you in a different version and a different style. I'm gonna be doing some nice, lovely ripe banana fry flitters outside in the back garden. Um, yeah, it's a little bit chilly. Um, the birds are making some noise, you know what I mean? You can hear the birds. L listen to that beautiful noise, you know what I mean? A nice, lovely Sunday morning or Monday morning, whatever time you are. But this morning is this morning is a Sunday morning, guys. You know what I mean? A lot of people been sleeping the same way, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, decide to come outside and do a beautiful, simple breakfast, something different, you know? outside in the back garden um yeah it's, it's amazing it is amazing it's just blessing guys it's the sun is out there but it's a little bit chilly you know what i mean but yeah i decided to do something please subscribe follow me on instagram and my facebook nice and lovely guys so basically right here have my pond right here which i'm going to be showing out i'm going to be doing it in a different version and a different style all right now Gonna do, I'm gonna put some coal. This is my own conversion of style, guys. Honestly, um, nice one. Listen to those birds, man. It's amazing. one so in the meantime my coal is getting together what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be making my flitters dough mix up now so let's tune into this guys it's amazing Nice, lovely guys. So basically, you know, sometimes you have leftover stuff at home, and you might have said to yourself, What can I do with my leftover stuff at home? You know what I mean? Yeah, but um, I have a little tips and tricks for you what you can do at home. So basically, I'm gonna be making some ripe banana flitters this morning. So basically, this is two fingers of ripe banana which I have right here. I have them left over so I'm gonna be showing you all you need to do is just break up your right banana just 
just like this guys so if you have any old right banana left over that's what you can do um, but as i said the ripe for the banana it is better like proper double ripe is a little bit much better for you to use more than you're going to be using um so i'm going to be using three fingers which is fine all you need to do is get a fork and simple just mash your banana like this guys don't be shy to mash your banana honestly it's just it's a recipe which i did before and i just decide to share about the recipe with you in my back garden this morning all right So what I want to do, I want to show you exactly I want to be using some brown sugar so I'm going to be using probably about 2 tablespoons of brown sugar which is more healthier not only that, you can use You can also use granulated sugar if you like, but I think the brown sugar does work out a little bit much better. So basically, you know what I mean, if you're at home and have some ripe banana left over just don't just don't chuck it in the bin you know what i mean do something with it guys honestly and you will can you will see definitely oh just work out really handy with you at home you know that is just amazing look at that that is just beautiful and nice So you want to make sure you mash the banana and the sugar together really good you know what i mean lovely now as I can see, I had the flour, now I had the sugar and the ripe banana together. Looking really good. But what I want to do is, I will be using some plain flour, which is more easier. A lot of people use self-rising flour, but I want to encourage you to use self-rising flour. So basically we want to add a cup of this plain flour to this mixture right here all right so before we add the flour what we want to do we want to add some vanilla roughly about a pinch of vanilla roughly a teaspoon just to make it more easier that's the vanilla mix it better in the liquid So grab yourself a whisk and I'm gonna add one cup of plain flour. Little bit more flour. And look up the rest of the flour, all right? That is amazing. Mm -hmm. 
So what you want to do, you want to add a pinch of salt. You can add all your ingredients if you like, but sometimes I just, you know what I mean, pinch of cinnamon. Mix spice. Right over here, I'm gonna be great and some nut and egg inside of it, which is gonna definitely give it that lovely flavor. And just simple. Mix it again. So that's exactly that beautiful running you're looking for. You see that? That is amazing. Now, what we're going to do now is show you how to fry them. Nice one. So I've got a medium sized pot right here. And as you can see, all this thing looking really amazing. Look at that. Um, basically for you to do this one you have to have like a proper thick dutchy pot like this one to use outside on the barbecue grill all right all right so basically you can see it start to get hot that is amazing look at that beautiful beautiful so now what i'm going to do i have some vegetable oil you can use olive oil vegetable oil whatever oil you like to use so I'm gonna just pop some oil inside of it. Rough about four tablespoons of no, not four tablespoons of oil, rough about quarter cups of oil. You know what I mean? Because it do takes a lot of oil to fry now. So basically I need to get my pot a little bit more evil. But that's fine so far. And what we're gonna do, we're going to get the oil to hot. It's take rough about probably about at least five to ten minutes you know what I mean because it's a Dutch pot I'm using so it's gonna take a little time to get hot so tune in nice one so basically what I'm going to do now is check it and see if it is very hot enough ready for my Jamaican nice one but as you can see, it's getting hot, but not 100% hot. Rough about 75% hot. All right. So, but it's getting hot, as you can see it for yourself. Nice one, sir. You can see it started getting hot, which is much better. Nice one. Once the oil is get hot, you are good to go. That is lovely. Just amazing. Look at that, guys. Fantastic and nice. So basically, it will take a little bit of time to fry. Once you get that nice, lovely goldish color, you are very good to go.
guess Jeanette on, on the forever. Or me. Come on, Jeanette on the Nice one. Look at that. Beautiful. So basically, so once and fry like this, and you get for that beautiful colour. That's exactly what you're looking for. You just wanna put them on a, a piece of a grease proof paper. Because you want them to fry properly, you know. You don't want them to get them to, you know. Yeah. Nice one guys, so basically that's it now, done and dusted, see you in the next video, which will come from Chef Ricardo and the team, alright? Full recipe on my YouTube channel, and also on my website, and also on my Instagram, alright? See you next time, bye bye.